Welcome to Spare Beer Reviews. For tonight's delectations we have here a little bottle from Bristol Beer Factory. I really like their uh, Ultimate Stout which I've had and also their Milk Stout but this one's a hoppy version. Uh, this is a hoppy beer I should say. This is Southville Hop. This is an American inspired IPA so they call it it's 6.5% uh, and it was the Seaburn National Champion for 2012 uh, which is saying something that's a big big uh, punching beer. Powerfully hopped and packed with tropical fruit aromas and flavours. Big malt content to balance these massive hop hop character. Drinking recommendation is uh, <laughs> uh, not for the faint hearted. Drink it fresh to really capture those hop aromas. Share it with your friend. It's too good to keep to yourself. Sounds very nice. So let's crack this little fellow open and see what we have. Okay, pour it on out. It is bottle conditioned I believe so there might be some yeast floating around so that's perfectly alright by my books. Should mean the flavour is encapsulating it quite well. And there we are. It is wonderfully dark, actually. That's almost like a deep chestnut-y sort of colour, um, or dark dark copper bordering on chestnut, um, with a nice, slightly off-white, creamy-coloured head that is staying around and will probably list like a beauty. Looks down good. Nice bit of yeast floating around on the inside, too. So, let's get some of those hop aromas. Oh, ha, ha. Mm, American-inspired and definitely has a pungent American aroma. Yeah, I'll take tropical mangoes, passion fruit, lychees. Oh, a nice little bit of pine in there too. God, it's punchy. I'm surprised I didn't smell this as soon as I um, pops the uh, pops the cork on it, cause or the lid, I should say, because it is uh, smells damn good. Six and a half percent, but um, that hop aroma is amazing. Wow, 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 wow. Smells super fresh as well. Um, I was just looking then, it said it's bottled on, sorry, best before, 12th of February 2015, so I'm assuming this was bottled on roughly around um, 12th of February, so sometime in February. You usually put a year's worth of date on bottles. But the aroma is super pungent, smells fresh as anything. Really, really, it smells like they've just squeezed every last bit of oil out of all those hops. So, cheers everyone, let's give this a try. Oh damn! Ooh. Wow. Mm. God, it's got a bit of punch to that. Initial touch on the t on the on the tongue is um quite a dark caramel flavour, almost like creme brulee sort of um, caramel. Then I'm getting a real punch of bitterness, real stripping bitterness across the tongue, a massive influx of pine. And now towards the back, you just start to get tropical flavours ebbing in. Um, so it's initial dark creme brulee, um, caramel, and then a, a lashing bitterness, huge pine dankness on the tongue, nice bit of tropical and floral bouquet out of the back of it. It's a bit of a roll, um, a good sort of roller coaster ride. You you you're kind of flowing through flavours, and you're left with a. It's quite an astringent bitterness actually. It's quite astringent. It won't be for everyone. Um, it's really it's, it's really stripped my tongue of um, you know it's really dried my mouth out stripped my tongue quite a bit but I like I like really quite bitter beers but I could see um, people I know who might like uh, they, some of my friends would probably not enjoy these because of the stripping bitterness I am just uh, for six sake going to try and get some of the um, little bit of more yeast in there there we go that was a bit of a bloom um, ooh, it's got a bit darker as well with the yeast in see so see if the yeast does any um, any difference there. No, it's still pretty bitter to be honest, but um, there is this nice, juicy, sweet mango and passion fruit at the end that's just lovely. And in fact, I think the more I drink it, the more my mouth gets used to um, that astringency. I think the uh, the more tropical notes might uh, might come through. This isn't particularly cold; it's just been in my garage and it's been quite a warm day. Um, so I, you know, I don't think it'll. Um, don't think the flavors will kind of boost more if it gets a little bit warmer. Um, I think it's pretty much as warm as you'd want it to be. Mm. But the flavors that are there are, are great. That nice little caramel touch at the beginning just holds it all together. Um, the bitterness, yes, might be a bit strong, but those those pungent 
that lovely pine note, this gorgeous tropical note, it's right at the end of mangoes and passion and the creaminess of it towards the back is just splendid, really, really nice. I think I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10, um, it's a really good American style IPA, I can definitely see myself having quite a few of these, I just think perhaps that bitterness in this bottle, in this batch perhaps, is just that a little bit too much. Um, I can take it, I like it, but I know some people won't, um, and this might just put some people off the style of beer, the American IPA that I really adore. Um, it's still a really good example though, if you are looking for an aroma beyond all, oh, it smells so nice, it smells so nice, and those smells come through on the palate too. Oh, good amount of carbonation if you can't tell. Um, speaking of which, the mouth feels nice as well actually. Yes, it is nice. Um, <laughs> so please like, favourite, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. If you've had Southfield Hop, really interested to know if you think it's perhaps too bitter or if it's not bitter enough. And until the next Bear Beer review, everyone, cheers.